Hey friends and welcome to my show, I'm Tiger and this is HyperTiger XT and I want you to imagine with me for a moment that you're a two dimensional line segment named Dash, living in a two dimensional world full of other line segments, trying your best to progress along the branching railroad track you're all confined to, in the hopes of reaching… somewhere. Now keep that image in your head as we delve into this review of Linelight. Released for both PC and PS4 on the 31st of January by developer My Dog Zorro, Linelight is a unique single player puzzle experience that sees you take control of a line segment, guiding it through a linear labyrinth of sorts, in order to reach some final destination. There's no story here to frame what you're doing, but that doesn't feel like a downside. Linelight plays as more of a zen puzzle solving experience, where you just kind of chill to a beautiful soundtrack while developing your powers of observation, logic and timing. The puzzles presented to you revolve around one simple mechanic. Get Dash from point A to point B. Of course, this is hampered by a number of obstacles that must be overcome, such as road segments that move or change directions based on trigger switches, enemy lines that will destroy you if touched, and remotely unlocked barriers. Although there is no explicit explanation of these mechanics, no on-screen text to tell you precisely what's happening, new puzzle types are introduced one at a time, and in a way that allows the player to intuitively determine how they work. Although hint functionality could be considered useful from an accessibility standpoint, it's certainly low need and, for me at least, there was always great satisfaction in figuring out exactly what each game element did. Matching the chill out soundtrack, the controls for Linelight are beautifully simplistic. Dash can be moved around with either the keyboard or a controller, and the only button presses required are directional inputs, a reset key in case you get stuck, and two additional buttons that control two of the puzzle mechanics. It's a shame that the keys can't be remapped, as this is considered a baseline accessibility item for people with motor issues, however there's nothing to say that this can't be added in a future patch. There are relatively few other accessibility considerations that Linelight stumbles on, which is really great to see. There are a variety of interface languages available, albeit all European ones, and there are sliders for background music, sound effects and brightness. There's no dialogue of any kind and the sound effects don't play a role in the puzzles, at least as far as I've encountered, so there's no need for subtitles. Auto saves occur after each puzzle has been completed, so if you need to quit, get stuck or you're destroyed, you never have to go back too far. Really the biggest thing I can knock Linelight for is the lack of a colorblind mode, as although the colors are beautiful and saturated and warm and loving, several of my colorblind friends have stated that, based on the videos and screenshots on the Steam Store page, they would not be able to comfortably enjoy the experience. Having said that, other visual accessibility items have been taken into account. Especially nice are the interface fonts, which are clean, well-sized and at good contrast with the background. Overall, Line Line is a puzzle experience with a core mechanic I've never experienced before. It's gentle, beautifully soundtracked and relaxing. Heck, even I found it calming and I'm not a particularly calm person. If you like puzzles that are a combination of logic and mechanical effort, then this game would definitely be worth checking out. I love it. And speaking of loving things, that's it. Okay, I love you, bye bye.